the name that I saw a lot on Twitter today was Devontae Parker. Sounded like mm-hmm. he had a pretty, pretty, pretty good practice. Uh, what did you see from the new man in town on the outside there? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, certainly looks good and in shape in that, you know, the new number one um, jersey now that uh, Nikhil is no longer around. Uh, you know, he, he he looks good on the field. You know, when he was out there, he had a couple of really nice hookups with Mac Jones where he was able to use his body, his catch, catch radius, which, you know, we knew is the strength of his. I think I was a little bit surprised, and I think Mac Jones was as well, that, you know, Parker got up, showed some nice vertical jumping ability uh, on some contested catches, and and that was impressive. It was good to see, you know, Parker flex for the crowd and get them all into it, you know, on his first day. Uh, I thought it was a really nice first day for – Devonte Parker and you know you just if you're a Patriots fan you're hoping okay just stay on the field keep building that rapport with Mac Jones because you know at the end of the day that's that's what's going to be important and it could be ruined by you know if he he's had injury problems in the past he pops a hammy and he's out for a week or two of practice all of a sudden you know the the, the trust that he's building with Mac Jones has to be rebuilt and that would be unfortunate. Yeah, you just hope he stays healthy because he does absolutely no doubt about it bring a different element to this offense, an element this offense has been looking for for quite a long time. And if he can stay healthy and he gives that to this football team, their offense is much more versatile and difficult to defend, easily put. And it makes Mac Jones that much better. Uh, another guy, I think, you know, before we move on to like your big umbrella thoughts from today, I just want to. I know you pointed out Kendrick Bourne and you said his energy and enthusiasm is Kendrick Bourne, like the media's guy. And, and I don't mean that the, he's like a binky for the media, but it, it seems like universally Kendrick Bourne is loved by the media more than anybody I can remember in recent memory with the Patriots. You guys love this dude. Yeah. I just think Nick, I don't think it's about us. I mean, we just see him a lot more than other people and he's just one of those guys. And I think we even remarked about it last year, you know, when, uh, he had a very similar play to last year. I remember almost like his first day where he caught this ball going out of bounds, almost the same play. They were probably installing red zone. And I remember I wrote about it. He was going out of bounds on the left sideline in the end zone. He caught it. And then he was sort of like leaped up in the air and got all excited. He did almost the exact same thing today. And I just think he's just one of those guys when you watch, like, you know, what did Brady used to say about Gronk? Like the the guy never has a bad day. That's what it yeah. seems like with Kendrick Bourne. He always has a smile. He's always moving. He's always enthusiastic. And, you know, that's that's big is, you know, especially in those lean days of training camp in the middle where people are dragging to have a guy that you see go out with enthusiasm and make a play. I think it I think it really does translate to the rest of the team. And so that's why. Uh, we love, we love Kendrick Bourne. Yeah. Good vibes. He brings the good vibes and he's also, this helps. He's also a pretty damn good football player. So yep. <laughs> when you have, when you have the good vibes guy also be a good player that can help the offense. That's good. I'm not telling you he's Gronk of course, but he is a good football player that can contribute. Uh, all right. So big picture thoughts, just kind of your big takeaways from, from what you saw today, Greg. Uh, teaching day, um, you know, I, and I think that's going to go on for the next couple of days, I guess, you know, my big takeaways would be like a lot of good vibes going around on the team. I thought there was a lot of good enthusiasm. I thought people were having fun as Mac Jones said, after, you know, everybody has juice the first day, you know, it's, it's important to bring it every day. And I think, uh, the wise old man, Mac Jones, uh, is right. Um, and so it was good to see on the first day. Uh, I thought that things overall were sharp. Didn't see the ball on the ground a, a ton. Um, I thought that both the offense and defense had their moments. I thought Mac Jones looked good. I will say not to push back on sort of the narrative, but, you know, looking through my binoculars and no pads today, it was just T-shirts. You know, I, Mac Jones's physique didn't, you know, it wasn't like he all of a sudden wasn't Adonis. Like, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't look all that different to me. Certainly a little bit more trim, but I, I thought I would see a little bit more muscle from what we've seen on Instagram and other places. And I don't know, maybe I was just being picky and, uh, but 
uh, I wasn't blown away by that, but I thought he had a good day. And I thought, you know, he was enthusiastic. He was leading things. Matt Patricia seems to be in control of the offense. The Patriots are, are off and running.